we're back in Tequila City. I have to go and turn in this quest. Right, we're talking to Alex. What are we doing again? We're on this this uh, faction quest, right? I learned the names of two lieutenants in the first. She also gave me an... Uh, right, right. We have to go and get this encrypted slate. Um, analyzed and decrypted by our ranger buddy. They were recording me on the SSN interview? I guess they were. Got a new gun as well when I was doing some uh, random missions, other like repeatable ones. It's pretty cool. It's like a, um, it's like a, I don't even know. It's like a shotgun, but not. It's like a railgun shotgun. It, it shoots, um, it's like, I don't know, maybe 20 projectiles at once. And like each one does some damage. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. This one does more damage the less armor I have, more attack speed, and it randomly deals um, some kind of damage. And I'm pretty sure this elemental part that makes it do random damage, I'm pretty sure that that means that um, it does damage on every single little projectile, which is really good. But yeah, you can see it has, uh, what is this, one, two, three, four, five. So five by five, so 25 like individual pellets per shot. And it gives you this nice little targeting HUD thing so you can tell exactly where you're gonna hit. Huh, just taking a walk is a full body workout here. And like when you point at somebody, the lasers go red. Um, depending on like when you're targeting over them. It's really cool. I I don't wanna like point at somebody here because they're all friendly, but yeah, later on, A take it out. People visit Pretty cool weapon. That's back outside. For the Rangers, check the upper Just make it my way. There he is. Our newest deputy. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Um... I don't want to say that's my kind of place. I don't know. I didn't really care for it, to be honest. What? You serious? Well, that's a first. Well, I guess not everyone likes to have a good time. Speaking of which, on to business. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? It's a lot of uh, human misery going on over in Neon. A little bit too much for my taste. Yeah, you can have a good time, but at the cost of other people having a very bad time. Uh, Ranger Price says you can crack this encrypted slate. Did he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. I'm counting on you, Alex. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Was there a please and thank you option? I didn't see it. Didn't look that much, though, to be honest. Do I plan on upgrading my ship? Um, I did a lot of upgrading. I actually, so, okay, I actually stole a ship um, from an ecliptic mercenary group. I can actually show you it right now. I stole it from an ecliptic mercenary group. This is not the original ship. This is uh, the one I stole. Though it's been so heavily modified that it's now unrecognizable. Um, this is the original one, right? I have a couple of them now, actually. I stole this one, too. Um, 
This one's actually okay, but the cargo capacity is just atrocious. It's so bad. So yeah, not very good. And I, sh I stole this one too. It's just a giant space truck, I guess. Um, but yeah, these just like landed and they had either pirates or cultists on them. So I just went inside and killed everybody and I could just take it. So yeah, we, get, we have these now. Um, I'll guess I'll just sell them. The thing is, like, if you register them, it costs, like, 12,000 credits. And then if you sell them, it's, you get, like, 16,000. So you end up getting, like, 4,000 credits. It's not very much. Like, selling them is not very lucrative, really. you think they'd be worth a whole lot, but it's pretty balanced to make it not too crazy. But uh, this is my current one. Um, I can't... I need, to, I need to name it. I don't know how to, like, name it. Oh, my hull's kind of banged up. There we go, it's repaired now. Yeah, I don't know how to rename it for whatever reason. Like, I don't know where it's at. But uh, anyway, um, it didn't look anything like this. It had, I think, these these um, landing gears here and, like, the midsection is the only part that I didn't, like, replace and customize on it. Um added missiles and lasers on the top and all kinds of crap on it. Um, a bunch of cargo. So yeah, we've got a bunch of cargo space now, although I am filling it up pretty quickly. So we'll see. These rangers are some hard blooded folk. Where are we going? Back upstairs. Again. I probably won't do too much on that ship. Um, supposedly you get a really nice ship from this quest. It's like better than anything else you can really get at this point, unless you have higher piloting skill, which I do not. Where where do I go for this? Where are they at? Hey there, deputy. Probably sleep for a little bit too. I haven't slept in ages. There are beds here I guess I can use. Sleep until... Um, so it's 7 p.m., so, like, I'll get a nice, good sleep in, have it be, like, 7 a.m. in the morning. That way it's uh, sunny out and stuff. You're already 70 hours in. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that far. I'm only, I'd say, like, 30 or 40 hours in, but I'm already in love with it. Um, I though, like, snoring? I didn't, um, didn't do too much in the main quest yet. I mean, the main quest is fine. The it's not, it's not bad. It's just, um, I think the side quests are more interesting in exploring the, the areas and stuff. I need a word. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Not gonna give away my source here. Yeah, I tracked down the thief with Ranger Price's help. Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. Thanks, I'll, uh, I think I'm getting the hang of it. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is. A start. What did you learn from the starship thief? The first has a money man called Marco and also someone named Maya Cruz. Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Okay, what can you tell me about uh, Maya Cruz? They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. 
You think you know who Marco is? There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. And when the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk, the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. That would do it, yeah, I suppose. Okay. Uh, can I get some information to track them down? Like what? Where would someone go for long term medical treatment? Right, because one of them had to get treated after the war. Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Marco's keeping his location a secret. How can I find him? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Okay, that's good enough to go on. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't going to get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, deputy. Now some credits, too. Okay, we gotta go to Red Mile. Track down Marco. Alright. Over here, alright. Are we good as far as inventory and stuff goes? Am I good on space? Yeah, we're a little bit... Got a little bit much. I think I'm just carrying a bunch of guns, though. We have I have resources too. Okay, we'll go, let's go back to the ship and drop stuff off. How about you, Sam? You got stuff right, on you? Let's get back to that. If you're looking for something. Oh yeah, you're you're full on everything. You got a bunch of resources. That's right. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, I was done too. Might have some stuff I can sell too. Let me pop work. out of here and see if I can find a vendor or two. Of course, a coffee shop. I don't need coffee. If you're looking for work, Mayor Cartwright might have something, or point you the right way. Mayor Cartwright. That's a new one. Um, is that activity? Where do you even put it? I don't even know where it put it. Whatever. Yeah, we're in the clinic. Okay. Eh, whatever. I'll 
make do without selling stuff. General store. Okay, this will work. Because you'll buy and sell like Dog. everything. I'll say right up front. Take a gander. Okay, these are all good. I want all these weapons. This stuff is all good. What about from ship cargo, though? I want to keep both of these. They're both kind of good in their own way. Okay, now we're good. Just go and take off. I've been advised to not do so much fast traveling via the, um, like pressing the R key and just automatically having it take you there because oftentimes, um, I guess you can find some pretty interesting encounters whenever you're taking off and landing at plants and stuff. So I should maybe do that more often. Alright, need to get stuff from Sam first. Where are you, Sam? Are you okay? Dad? Good work dealing with the shock. You I wouldn't say no to Uh don't give me everything. Give me all your resources and that's gonna be about it. Still kinda heavy. Oh, you got a bunch of packs. I could have sold these. I didn't realize I had these. And we'll store them for now. Sell them later. Okay, you're good now. Well, that's it then. Hey, those are good. Drop off the packs. Okay, 50 weight is good. And yeah, we're getting kind of full. I did I did buy some resources because I wanted to make sure I have plenty of uh, like aluminum and stuff so I can make outposts wherever I want to. But yeah, I think we should be good in resources for a long time now. Pardon me, kid. I think a lot of the people that have an issue with this game would be a lot happier if that little sequence that we had was more realistic or had the option to be more realistic, you know? If you actually controlled setting off and flying somewhere and being able to fly on the plane a bit more and stuff, you know, would probably solve a lot of the issues. And the fact that, like, if I want to go somewhere, you know, I got to go to my star map here. Figure out where we're going. And then just do a jump. Oh, I gotta do a grav drive power up. There we go. take forever if I don't get some more engine power. Please use priority docking. 
I don't. We're okay. Like it, love. No, oh, wrong button. Crap. Have to redock now. Undocking complete, Captain. Blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake, and the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. It's encouraging to know that every case we cure here likely means dozens or hundreds Dr. of people to the future. Can't ever get here fast. Fast. Welcome to the clinic. I'm Dr. Darvish, Chief, Chief of Medicine. Liberated. Is there something I can do for you? Um, I'm here on business. Are you? Because I don't have any appointments scheduled. We have a particular focus on astrovirology here. So the patients we take on tend to have unusual cases that require long-term care, and sometimes require unorthodox or experimental treatments. We have an excellent track record that speaks for itself, but it doesn't leave room for much else. Whatever business you may be here for, I trust that you will conduct it quickly and do so without interfering with my staff or our operations. You mentioned astrovirology. What is that? There are hundreds, if not thousands, of new worlds that humanity has set foot on. While many don't host some sort of life, there are more than enough that do. Any one of those worlds could be inhabited by all manner of pathogens. Things we've never seen and have no idea how to treat. Someone has to try and stay ahead of what could be a very deadly curve. Here at the clinic, we do our best. Yeah, that is true. Um, it'd be rough. Like, you find a brand new plague that could just wipe out an entire world because they can't treat it. Glad I'm wearing a helmet. You wouldn't be the first to feel that way. There was a time I was mildly offended by it, but I've grown accustomed to it. If it makes you feel more at ease, be my guest. Can I help with your research? Would you now? Well, I suppose we could always use additional research specimens. The more data we have about what's out there in the settled systems, the faster we can diagnose novel illnesses. In theory, at least. I suppose we could consider you an independent contractor of sorts. We keep a database of known alien sedatives, but more data points are always welcome. If you could provide some samples, it would be appreciated. Okay, collect sedative. Alright, I probably have some of that back in my cargo hold. Where would I find these resources? What we're looking for are basic organic substances. They could come from any number of flora or fauna on countless worlds across the settled systems. Just keep your eyes open as you travel and harvest things when you find them. Or frankly, if you can find them at a reasonable price somewhere, purchase them. I'm less concerned with the source than the materials themselves. Oh, there was one more option there, but we didn't get to do it. Okay, well, whatever. Reduces fall damage. Okay. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Kiosk right here for you. No oh, matter how much you're we trade authority, learn, really? Anything I can help you with? Hold on. Oh. 
Oh, right here. There's a kiosk. Oh. Well, I may have some stuff to sell, actually. Yeah. Sell from ship. Very nice. Okay, get rid of these damn packs, then, that I don't want. Oh, let's see. 15% melee damage, carry capacity, disarm. Eh. Passing that one. This is 15% damage from humans, corrosion resist, and 10% resist from physical. Yeah, only reason I'm not using this is because it has a basic boost pack, and I prefer the better boost pack that I have. Um, this one, not so much. We can sell that. Okay, that's good. All right, so we have to talk to a specific person here. If they haven't rushed me back, means it can't be that bad, right? This place is a far cry from Aquila City. That's for sure. We get the cases no one has ever seen before or doesn't know how to treat. Oh, uh, that's right. Um, someone sent me to pick up some medical supplies. Yeah, Joseph Manning sent me to pick up some medical supplies. Hey, let's keep our voices down. The clinic doesn't exactly know I'm giving its supplies away. You're giving them away? That being said, I've been expecting someone soon. I've heard Bayou really has a vice grip on Neon right now. I have some supplies I can give you. Should be more than enough for now, and it shouldn't draw any suspicion from the clinic. I'll have them loaded onto your ship. Um... Why are you doing this? He's a good friend of mine. We both worked at the same clinic in Aquila City. The work was hard, and I was really young and nervous. But he always looked after me during those days and helped me as much as he could. So, to answer your question, I'm doing this because I know for a fact he'd do the same for me. No questions asked. That's nice and all, but you could easily get fired for this and possibly imprisoned. What would happen if the clinic found out? What the clinic doesn't know won't hurt them. That's why it's important to keep this as confidential as possible. I'm putting my job on the line to do this, but I know that the people of Neon need help. I'm willing to take the risk and skim a few supplies from the clinic. But if the clinic finds out, then I'm out of a job and Neon is out of supplies. Again. So, let's not be too conspicuous okay well thanks for the help of course the people of neon aren't going to heal themselves you'll find the supplies on your ship hurry along before anyone suspects anything I have to keep an eye on these doctors or they'll work themselves to death are you the courier you're not really supposed to be back here. You can just drop the delivery off by the docking port and someone will take care of it. Are there a lot of couriers coming through here? Well, sure. We can't afford to run low on supplies. Never know what kind of medical emergency might pop up at any moment. Well, I'm not a courier. Well, then you won't have Dr. Darvish breathing down your neck, at least. But, well, we're not really set up for having folks just milling about in here. It is a medical facility, after all. If you could just do your best to steer clear of the doctors while they work, and not interrupt things, I'd really appreciate it. And if you need anything, I'm right here, okay? You're not a doctor? Nurse supervisor, dear. I'm the one who takes care of all the doctors, as well as the patients. The more I can look after, the more the doctors can focus on patient diagnosis and treatment. Every role here is important. I don't even know that her husband is here, so I don't know why I would ask this. Must be an exciting place to work. Oh, sometimes, sure. Somebody walks in or is dragged in with something we haven't seen before. We best believe it's all hands on deck. Have to find out if it's lethal or contagious, or both. Don't you ever worry you might get sick? I used to. 
I think we all did to some degree when we started working here. But really, how does worrying help when you've got people to treat? It just gets in the way. I don't know, I think it'd be like more precautions and stuff in here, you know, like an like a airlock to like scan people and make sure they don't infect the entire station and kill everybody on board. It's a lot of pressure. It can be, yes. But we've all learned to live with it. If we didn't do this, who knows how many lives would be lost. It's harder on the newer folks, that's for sure. You take that Dr. Salvato, nice man, but he's a little on the skittish side. He's a good doctor, but just needs a little more confidence, you know? Yeah, I wouldn't want a doctor who doesn't know what they're doing. Don't misunderstand. He's got the training and the know-how. Just needs to relax and trust his instincts. Actually, now that we're talking about this, I wanted to do something nice for him. Give him a little pick-me-up. I overheard something about a meal he hadn't had in a long time. Thought maybe if I could deliver one to him, it'd be a nice gesture. You think you could help with that? You just want me to get a certain meal? Sure, I'm at your service. Aren't you just the sweetest? You know that Don's Roost restaurant in New Atlantis? The fancy one? Dr. Salvato was talking about the synth liver pate. Said he'd never forget it. You bring me a plate and I'll make sure we brighten up his day. Sheesh. All the way over there for that. Well, if I'm ever back in New Atlantis and I remember, sure, I'll do that. And uh, I can come back here at some point, maybe. VIP wing, staff area. Can I just go through here? Doesn't seem to be a problem. Nice little break room here. Need to make sure those samples get disposed of. I know your type. A freewheel in space ace. Must be nice. It is nice. I quite enjoy my line of work. Oh, it's the, uh, doctor, but he's cleaning up some filled coffee. Well, you look like I work here, right? A couple of patients didn't seem to think so. Awkward situation. What's your role here? Tending physician. I'm new here, so really what I do is watch Dr. Darvish's every move and try to imitate it. Sounds a lot less impressive when I say it out loud. Can I help out in some way? Oh, well, that's appreciated. There really isn't anything you're qualified to do in here. No offense, of course. But, hmm. I do have some data requests from other facilities in the settled systems. Everyone always wants to know what we're up to. Usual courier has been less than reliable lately. So if you could get this slate where it needs to go, that would help us. And put a few credits in your pocket. Okay. New Atlantis. Another quest to go back to New Atlantis. All right. Uh, thank you, Doctor. Thanks for stopping by. On your step. You appear dehydrated. I suggest the immediate ingestion of a moderate quantity of water. Oh, this is stealing. Let's turn away from that. I was going to hit E, but that is stealing. I almost just got myself in trouble there.
careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they own the Let's do what we're actually here for, I suppose. Go and talk to this guy and try to track our man down or woman down. Forget which one it is. You know, just by breathing the air in here, you are being exposed to about a dozen different viruses. I'm kidding. Probably. You yeah, had a chance to talk to I'll Dr. Cassidy. Credits if you go really ask fun guy. What's going on back there? Try human. Though. Here we go. So <coughs> you can't like, tell me you don't want to know. No, I don't want anything to do with it. They were quite clear that it's none of our business. Mm-hmm. Awful lot of money comes into this place on account of whatever research they do. You know, there are more couriers coming and going from this place than patients most of the time. Guess that's a good thing. They're probably selling the diseases as like biological weapons to whoever would buy them, which I can imagine would be pretty Every valuable. New alien pathogen we discover is just a little more job security. Gotta look on the bright side, right? Need something? You new here? New ish. I've only been here a year, which well, when you compare it against Dr. Darvish's career, it's not much, is it? I'm thrilled to have the opportunity, but it's been an adjustment. Very few cases here are simple, and most of them are medical emergencies. You ever get a break? I guess that depends on what you consider a break. We get some time to ourselves. We're not on call all the time, but we're never that far away from it either. Now that I think about it, I haven't actually left the clinic since I got the job. I actually hadn't really noticed. Hmm. You ever get homesick? No, not really. This is my home now. The people here are wonderful and the work we're doing is incredibly important. That's what really matters. Okay. Bye. Can't let you in without proper authorization. Okay, exactly here's the man. Not of criminal activity here, is it? Well, that suits me fine. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? You know, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Great, that should save us both some time. Yep, I'm pretty well caught up on things. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. How you doing, old man? Well, I'll be a Dust Wrangler's cousin, Sam Coe. Oh, it's been too damn long. Why, Cora must be, what, nine, ten years old by now? <laughs> I wish. She's twelve. <sighs> Almost a teenager? My goodness. And here I thought I had enough gray hairs already. So... Are you back? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. I'm just out here to watch the deputies back and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I see. Well, back to the matter at hand, then. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? She had some kind of urgent medical issues, so I'm confident she's here. Well, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Now just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out. Yeah, I kind I'm of agree. Much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. 
And she's also on the Council of Governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, and I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. A couple of years on duty here, and anyone would be qualified to run any other hospital in the city. Hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you in Mr. Miller's capable hands. If you need anything right, else, dude. I'll be in my office. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks okay. for Okay. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Interesting. The person I'm tracking is a computer expert. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Former soldier named Maya Cruz. She fought brave bravely in the colony wars. Former soldier, huh? You know, they say war changes people forever. Makes me sad, the thought of soldiers who come home and don't fit in anymore. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? Little bit. It was a medical emergency that required long-term care. That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal, assuming the database cooperates. Come on. You catch my Ben nodding off. Give him a good snack for me. The man means well, but he's just so tired these days. Okay, give me just a minute here. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in Any here. Any guesses what's being worked on? Okay, you... finally. Here we go. Any interest in asking the guards? Oh. No matches really? found for a Again Maya with Cruz. This whole thing? What? Aren't you curious? It could be something amazing or something horrifying. No, I don't want anything to do with it. They were quite clear that it's none of our business. Pretty cool that there's actually okay. an interface there on the so screen. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. What if the records were tampered with? I guess it's possible. Maybe I can give you another option. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace. What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. Oh, I can find the source of computer issues that might lead to Maya. You're welcome to use the Ranger Station terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. Because I am a good hacker. What's up, Wasteland Lawyer? Thanks for stopping by, dude. Enjoying the B, uh, the BG3 videos? Me too, man. I'll be jumping back into that at some point. Um, I'm just quite obsessed with Starfield right now. Okay, nothing really crazy here. This one says that a VIP patient was found in an off-limits area. Patient identified as Catalina 
Rivera was found to be inside a CRV shuttle and was asked to return to her room. She was lost, huh? I'm sure. Okay, this is also about her. Patient fought a complaint and insisted on speaking to security about a lack of personalized attention and to inform us that her symptoms were not being taken seriously enough. Inform the patient that was a medical matter and not a security issue. Patient said she was aware of that but did not feel the medical staff were listening to her concerns and had nowhere left to turn. Okay, I don't know if this is actually relevant to anything. Disruptor Mark IV. That sounds a bit ominous, yeah. Recommend this process disabled, okay. Installed by, guess who? Okay, Catalina Rivera. Probably our woman. Now, Ari seemed like he would be sympathetic to a former soldier, so maybe he is covering for her? That could be a possibility too. Plus, he just did maintenance on the network six days ago, so maybe he knows about it and he's letting it go. Well, Ari Oops. should be able to get you squared away. Guessing you don't see much action around here. Well, you'd be guessing correctly then. Even if there was some kind of trouble, which there almost never is, Freestar Security would handle that. <laughs> Truth is, this post is what you might call ornamental in nature. Ever since the clinic came under Freestar Collective control, there's been a ranger here. I reckon it's to serve as a reminder who's in charge of this place. I'm sure it'd be extremely boring, though. There wouldn't be much to do here day to day. Like, you'd probably just sit around on your terminal and, uh, be bored all day. Okay, Ari. Um, I'm not so sure that I, uh, Always happy to help the Free Star Rangers. believe that you're so innocent here. I'll keep working on these patient record issues. You work on the computers full time? Well, yeah, somebody has to. It's great medical care, but not the latest in support tech. Funding only goes so far, and most of it's prioritized for keeping patients alive. And there's still a lot of outdated UC tech behind the walls that needs interfacing, so <laughs> I stay plenty busy. Hmm. Seems like they should just, uh, just upgrade and get things automated. Yeah, that would put you out of a job, though. Well, then I'd be out of job, wouldn't I? You're not entirely wrong, though. But someone would have to convince Dr. Darvish it was a priority, and I gave up on that effort years ago. How would I get into the VIP wing? That's not really an area where I can help you. Access is strictly limited. Dr. Cassidy would be the person to talk to. It would be his call. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but I hear he keeps a spare key card in his office. Okay. Being very helpful. What do you know about a patient named Catalina Rivers? Catalina Rivera. Rivera, I know the sorry. Name. Just just give me a second to think. I remember she was rushed into surgery right after arriving, seemed to be in pretty bad shape. She must have some serious credits cuz she was moved to the VIP wing after the procedure. Well, what can you tell me about the VIP wing? Think of it as high-end care, with bigger rooms, better food, and more amenities. Cost a fortune, of course. The VIP wing also provides privacy, and that's why only a select few staff members are allowed in. 
I thought rangers could go anywhere in free star space. Yeah, well, I don't think the doctors here care all that much about where the rangers are supposed to go. Dr. Cassidy's in charge of the VIP wing. You need his permission to enter. Unfortunately, he's a real stickler for the rules, and the rules say no visitors without prior arrangement. You didn't hear this from me, but I happen to know that he keeps a spare access card somewhere in his office. Hope that helps you. So we've heard. Okay. Well, we can probably try to persuade him. We're also probably try to break in. There's multiple options here, so... We can talk to him. Is he over here? Oh, we can just get it from here? Well, I guess we're going to be doing a little bit of stealing. Easy one, at least. Really? Okay, uh, let's undo that. And I guess I don't want to take his credits. Feel bad for that. Not too damn easy. Okay, uh, there is the key card. There's probably another way of doing it, though. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days, it's spreading like a virus. Is this also a VIP wing? Probably not. I do want to see what's here, though. Plus, I have to do lockpicking to level up, so... Just tell him I was practicing my lockpicking. Another locked door. Just taking a peek to see what's in here. Maybe they're hiding something. Oh, did I screw myself over? Just exit. Redo it. Did I screw myself over again? Yeah, I did. It's only advanced safe, come on. This stuff that much. Okay, nothing spectacular in there. Not the VIP room.
If you need assistance, please see Ari Miller. If you're thinking about going into medicine, just be really sure before you commit to it. Really sure. I'm no hypochondriac, but maybe we limit our time here with all the sick people. Excuse me, what gives you the right to come in here? You're not my attending physician. Get out before I call for security. Very sorry to disturb you, I just need a moment of your time. Well, I suppose I can give you a minute. I can just accuse her outright, but she's definitely not here. It's, it's definitely not her. I'm just getting some information. What brought you to the clinic? Believe me, I hadn't intended to stay here. I'm a courier. I was transporting certain sensitive documents here to the clinic. My ship was intercepted by pirates. I escaped, but not without damage to my life support systems. By the time I reached the clinic, I was barely alive. <sighs> I was rescued and placed in intensive care. That was two days ago. Hmm. Maybe you're not who I'm looking for. I can see you still have doubts, but I assure you, my story is true. If you don't believe me, then ask Mr. Miller at the desk. He can verify who I am and how I came to be here. Okay, no point in wasting our time interrogating these people. How does she expect me to get all this done by myself? I'm just a nurse. If you need to talk to someone in charge, wrong guy. Looking specifically for Dr. Cassidy. You're in the vanguard, right? Really, you don't hey, need to worry. I've got a year under my belt and I'm pretty settled. One okay, I guess we can just go through. Is it it's not stealing, so I guess we're fine to go through. The clinic's a bit of a legend in the medical field. Whoa, what? Excuse me? Uh. Doctor is dead too? Well, whatever, we're here now. I guess we're stealing stuff. That's not what I expected. VIP docking port. Oh, so you can actually undock from here. Search for clues. Yeah, someone got out of here in a hurry. I'm assuming she probably got tipped off and left. Or maybe she just knew we were here because of, uh, she had access to, like, security cameras or something. It's probably possible, too. Or Ari tipped her off. I'm not sure. Modified terminal. Command override mode. Disable the program. Terminal access log. There is C. Rivera, guest.
Ready for departure. Set navigation to Sakharov. Destination set. So she's going to Sakharov. Treatment continues, but issues persist. Prognosis is not optimistic. Patient seems unusually anxious since receiving a recent courier slate. Possibly some bad news from back home. Okay. So she left through the dock. It's up mines and stuff. That was not very nice. It's not accessible, obviously, because there is no ship here because she ran off with it. Quite unfortunate. Just one week without something weird. That's not too much to ask. You know, just by breathing the air in here, you are being exposed oh. to about a dozen different viruses. I have to look for more clues? I thought that would be enough, honestly. I figured that would be good and we could just say, okay, she's going to Sakharov now. The clinic's a bit of a legend in the medical field. What am I looking for here? Pretty obvious she tampered with the terminal, but I already read all this stuff, so. Really sure what I'm looking for here. Ah, here we go. Maya, this the rangers are on to us. They are going to find you, and when they do, an alias won't protect you. The best bet is to hunker down somewhere safe. Your hideout in the old asteroid mine at Sakharov should be ideal. Maybe seal one of the clinic's emergency ships if you need a quick escape. No, you don't have much time. The operation is almost over. Thanks for helping see it through, and I don't get the chance if I don't get the chance to tell you in person, I'm eternally grateful for your bra brave service and loyalty to the unit. Ben Honor, Major Hall. That should be it, yeah. Need to make sure those files are backed up. So I said I can just leave. Shouldn't I tell somebody that, you know, someone back there is dead? Hey there, you'll find those patients in the medical wing. Have a good one. It's a dead America. physician back there. Has really flown by. Of course, dear. It'd be enough to know that the Rangers are. Take care. Dr. Cartwright, I hope the supplies are. Nice talking to you. No, nobody cares you have a dead you, physician you back there. You had a chance to talk to Dr. Cassidy. Really fun guy. Whatever you do, don't let anyone in here sneeze. See you later. Wouldn't mind getting assigned to one of those research programs. Back to work then. They obviously don't know what's going on back there, so like you'd think I could tell somebody and say, hey, by the way. Kim, no authorization, no access. So, what goes on behind that door? In the secure wing? No. But from what I understand, someone's paying to keep it that way. No one knows what's going on back there. Probably research into diseases, alien diseases, that can be modified and used as weapons, like biological weapons. 
Hmm. Hey, Mr. Uh, Ranger. I was a dead, I should be able to get you squared away. Always good. Okay, I guess nobody way. wants to know that someone is dead back there and there were mines and it was, yeah, whatever. I guess nobody cares. All right, whatever. It's a grav drive. I literally can't get here fast enough. Ready to take off, Captain. You've got something for me? Separation complete. Yeah, it seems kind of odd that I can't talk to them about anything. Okay, Sakharov. I don't think I should really uh, hail them. Probably should just dock. Probably gonna end up fighting right away in here. And we are locked in. Okay, not bad. This stuff is not stealing, so I have to assume this is going to be a hostile location. your spit can freeze. Not that I know that from personal experience. All right, I know it from personal experience. I wonder what the crystal is. Don't need a gun to take you out. I want to use all my good ammo for this. Get out of the way, Sam. Wait, which one is it? Do I not have it bound? I guess I don't have it bound. Uh, okay. 
Oh, I have two different Beowulfs here. Um, let me find this on the... Let's see, this one is 47, instigating... Yeah, we'll use this one instead then. It's got the instigating thing on it, so... Do... That there. Can go there. This can go here. This is a good gun. I like it. There's like an automatic version of this too. What a cool looking location though. I don't know why, but I think this would be a hell of a place for a seance. Knock once if you hear us spirits. No? Probably be better off not fighting from up here. Yeah, I can get a pretty good beat on him though from here. I, uh, here we go. Let's see, update friend foe, recalibrate, remove combat, confirm, activate. Now we got a buddy. It appears the enemy has left the area. I am infecting the enemy. Carcass go to waste. Advanced Navigator Helmet, let's see. Oh, it's pretty good. No legendary stuff on it, but pretty good. 
It really infuriates me that this vacuum tape does not kind of adhesive. It's so dumb. Speaking of adhesive. I bought a whole bunch because it's really cheap, so I just like bought 20 of them. There's that security door that we need to get into. We don't need to, but we can. So we will. All these can be used in both places, huh? Probably... This one's gonna do... Like this. So... I'd want to skip... This one. I can't do that, though, can I? That might work. Space Trucker spacesuit. This is a lot more damage resist than mine. But mine has some legendary effects that makes it better, probably. I've heard you can actually craft legendary effects onto your gear later on if you get the highest level of crafting. Which is pretty cool. miss anything here, did I? Doesn't look like it. Oh, we are a little health, though. Take care of that. What is this one again? I don't even know which one is which anymore. Um, this is the AA, right? This one's decent too, it's an automatic armor piercing as well. Yeah, like that. know you were there. Waste not, need not. Oh, he's fighting our, our robot buddy. Thank you, robot buddy. Good job. What are they doing here with this stuff anyway? Doing what kind of research on this stuff? Star Roamer spacesuit. Eh, it's worth 3k. Kind of heavy though. We're supposed to walk down through here, I take it.
Man, what the heck is all this? This is crazy. Okay, I don't see anything else here. Gonna be a tough one. These are all usable elsewhere too. Okay. Contraband. Nice bit of money there once I actually am able to smuggle stuff in and sell it. Another mag shot pistol and some ammo for it. Okay. Wouldn't go over there, Sam. Caves can be a real good place to hole up. What is going on here? Guy has a knife. My friend will be my. They're all different colored. My friend will be's. They're playing spin the bottle, but with a knife. I don't know what's going on there. Thank you for all the free weapons laying around. 
Okay, I think that's it. Oh boy, oh boy, not good. Might have to do some advanced stuff here. Do a battle stim. Don't I have something that has more damage as well, like increase the damage and attack speed or something? Yeah. Okay. Been saving this. And we can do a... I have some random heal stuff I can do too. Do a med pack. And also. A pack. And. That should be it, yeah. Oh god. Please reload. No, wrong. Whatever. Need a bigger magazine for this thing. Take the good stuff. Leave the rest. Man, it'll take more than that. She did say she was well prepared, and I should turn back. She was not bluffing. Not sure what a positron battery does, but I have one now. I think it's a crafting component for a little bit later on. Time to tango. Up there. I see it now.
a nice maelstrom. Is that like upgraded damage or something? What is this? It's a lot more damage. Yeah, that's good. I can use that for sure. 40 round mag, decent fire rate, semi-auto, 45 damage. That's not bad. Uh, bind that to before. Have a lot of ammo for it too. See, like I could craft the uh, mods for these myself and make them that good, but I don't have the perks leveled up yet, so. an awful lot of grenades and stuff here. So that 50 mil array, that's got to be for a bigger version of the mag pulse, which is like the uh, shotgun railgun thing. Got to be like a bigger, stronger version of that. And I'm wondering if it's a heavy weapon, like a heavy automatic 50 cal that shoots multiple 50 cal rounds at the same time. That'd be amazing. Well, hello there. We don't have to fight, or do we? I guess we do. Holy crap! Nice shooting, Sam. Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. Why is the first seizing farmland? Because uh, that's what we were hired to do. The pay was good too. But the best part was getting to stick it to the people who turned their backs on us. So, who hired the first and why? <laughs> I can't wait until you find out. This is about revenge, then? Of course it is! We spent 20 years behind bars because our leaders got scared and called off our attack just when we had the battle won. And did the people of the Free Star Collective that we fought and died for come to our defense? No. They did nothing. Nothing! Ah. Well, now they can die. Just like most of our unit did. Okay. I want to know more about this. Back to the business at hand. Fine. I ain't feeling conversational anyway. The first must have a base. Where is it? Yeah. We've got a base. A good one, too. Spend months of my life getting that place up and running. As for where it is, <laughs> you're going to have to figure that out on your own. You seem pretty eager to die. Of course I ain't. What kind of fool would be eager to die? I'm just not stupid enough to deny what's inevitable. I wish I were. <sighs> How about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, 
Then leave me in peace. Alice's life kicked you around. I've been abused or abandoned by everyone I ever got close to. Gave up on people and put my faith in machines instead. Wasn't until I came to the First Cavalry and met Major Hull that I felt I could trust someone again. I'm not leaving until I get some more information about the first. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Okay. Actually resolved it peacefully, didn't have to kill her. Got some info. I'm still gonna loot her stuff though. She just went to sleep. She's like, um, okay, I'm done. I'm taking a nap. Kill me or don't. 